live from the Green Bay Studios. My name is Andy Bond. Okay, okay. Get this. Chicago bans plastic bags. I'm not kidding you, folks. Chicago bans plastic bags. Uh, here it is. Uh, Chicago has banned, became the latest city to approve ban on plastic shopping bags. The city council voted overwhelmingly in the favor of potential plastic bag ban. Seriously? Here's the here it is on the Chicago tra trombone trouble. Amit. Wow. Okay. Seriously, I swear to God that they're gonna be uh, plastic bags are banned. Are you serious? Chicago aldermen vote to ban plastic bags. Here it is. The chart. The Chicago City Council today voted 36 to 10 to ban plastic bags in the most store stores next year. A change that bakers say will improve the city's environment, but opinion contend with harm in local economy. The ban proposed by Ad Jamon first was in a long time in coming memorial proposal has been debated for many months. And a similar measure was first proposed seven years ago. Mara called the bakes Relit of the past, saying other options like reusable bags were available. It's for a new Chicago, a better Chicago, Moreau said. Mayor Ryan Emanuel supported the effort, saying it was in keeping with his efforts to improve the environment. He said he had to expand car curbside recycling and was taking steps in regardless pollution coke. Which has been described as a surge on a plenty industrial southeast side. This is why this is this is the wise steps to do, Emmanuel said. Content contending it won't affect or affect to attract groceries or so called food desert dessert on the south or west side. The issue raised by Allah Lee Hamas V, who voted against the ban, the mayor said it put the city on the right path to relate to the environment policy. Okay, seriously. Environment. Plastic bags. Oh, you're not going to see a repercussion in that thing? Seriously? You're not going to see a repercussion here? Uh, seriously? Well... Seriously, you're not going to see a repercussion here. You're not going to see a repercussion in plastic bags. Here it is. Uh, morale has failed to take into account the eff effects that this ban will have on all the people in the businesses of the city of Chicago. And A. Nicole Samantha 36 has northeast side ward borders for suburbs. And he said store owners and shoppers could cross the border to to do business, but Alan DeJoe twelve said it was it was time for the city to take steps to improve the environment. Okay, seriously, you do not get it. Plastic bag. Who makes plastic bags? The people that they you're gonna lose you're gonna lose so much jobs. It's unreal. Seriously. You want to lose jobs. This is like whoever made these plastic bags, you're causing them to lose jobs. Chicago's mayor, stupid mayor. Why are you doing that? I don't care if the environment is crumbled. I don't care if you're trying to make the environment, but you're literally trying to put a cripple in the plastic industry company. People need to work too, you know, mayor. You're not, we all, we all can't have Millions and millions of dollars sitting on our freaking ass and just sitting there and not doing anything. You got to be a hard-working American, Mrs. Mr. Mayor of Chicago. Why are you being mean to the plastic bag industry? Oh, you want to make a environment? Hello, I got a better idea. Why don't you try and move the stupid, uh, get the buses to news clear energy? That's another way to improve the environment or lose more, lose reusable water here, waste. That's how you can do it. But no, you want to take plus bakes. That's going to help the environment? Yeah, right. 
It's not going to help the environment, Mayor Chicago, Chicago Mayor. It's not. You are the stupidest mayor ever. How did you get elected? My point exactly. I have no clue how you got elected mayor of Chicago. Why are you being so cruel to people that are working hard to make these plastic bags? Have you thought about the repercussions on that? No. You just want to do whatever you say. Grow a pair of you-know-what, Mr. Mayor of Chicago, and do something about it. But don't be mean to the plastic bag industry. We'll be right back on the Andy Bond Show. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to be joined by the new guy in a, a little bit. I cannot wait. But, ladies and gentlemen, flying... Okay, get this. Now, I don't believe in, uh, in, 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 uh, I don't believe in elephants. I can't... Have you ever heard? i never seen, i never seen an elephant fly. Uh, well, get ready. Flying car is coming to you live from the thing. Get this. Uh, this is from Aleka Text. Flying car moves from sci-fi forward reality. Flying car has long been the stuff of science fiction through plenty of entrepreneurs and visiting visitors have suggested to make a concept a reality. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is on NBC News. Flying car reality. Okay, seriously. Flying car. Okay. That is science fiction, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to this. This is from NBC News. Flying car have long been a stuff of science fiction through plenty of entrepreneurs and visitors have started to make the concept reality, including no less than the original Henry, Henry Ford. The group of Manchu, Manchusets here, Manchusets in the institution of technology and MI that developed the transition flying car have said they are, they're ready to take a giant leap even farther into the wild blue younger. They've announced to a, a more advanced concept, the TFX is a rapidly working as it was towards reality. To start with, the four-seater would be cap capable of vertical takeoff and landing. And since it would largely be controlled by a central computer network, the TFX would, calm, would claim a... Time for the promotional video requires a pilot dash driver to have as little as five hours training, a slight fiction of what is now takes to get the most pla basic pri private pilot license, or 
And if that isn't appearing enough, the team says the newest line car design will use an environment friendly plug in hybrid power train. Okay, seriously. Here it is. Uh, Massachusetts based Turner has been drawing pl plenty of attention to itself thanks to the trad. Tran the transition a 280,000 flying car that has been slowly working its way through the complex product development and federal re readily process. Just 19 feet long, it was designed to fit inside a typical suburban garage once its 27 foot wings were, were fold up, allowing the driver and any con in converting road. Don't think it of it as a car that flies, suggests Cara Demons, one of the MT students now serving as Tyrant and CEO, thinking of it as a plane that drivers. Perhaps, but perhaps by beyond the ability to fold up those wings, the Tyrant would operate pretty much like an aircraft, needing a long runway to get airborne with the TFX the company is moving closer to, in to the sort of craft one might envision in the sci-fi cartoon family the Jetsons would own. For one thing, China's comms, the four-seater could get airborne from the level clearing as little as 100 feet, rotating a twin ring motor popular motor to violate ver vertical position, airborne that would route back to a conversion forward, most like a bigger Aspirin thrown by the military. Once in the air, the TFX is envisioned capable of reaching 200 miles and delivering a full 500 mile range plus receiving enough for a quick jolt from Washington DC to Boston or from Los Angeles to San Francisco. The craft could be flown manually by a licensed pilot or flown on an advanced autopilot system requiring only manual training. Memoro training. The computer network it would plug into the transistor screen would automatically sidestep covered airlines as well as bad weather and could land the craft even if the pilot were to become incapable such as more serious problems occur. The TF is outf outfitted with a own parachute so TFX should be statistically safer than driving a modern automobile and company assets. Don't think of the car that flies. Think of it as a plane that drives. The craft could provide practically a period of green mind flying and soon thinking of its unusual plug-in hybrid powertrain in total. It would be able to produce 1,500 horsepower, 600 from each of the electric motors driving at the, the and 300 from the gasoline engine that would serve as a generation from when the TFX battery pack runs down. How soon can you order one? The development process will likely take 8 to 12 years, considering the time that has taken to get the compare similar transition airborne. Few would be surprised if it takes even longer. Indeed, the century of effects have yet to make the Erico of a practical reality through Transmitrina is just one of the numbers of companies now seeming close to cracking the code and making a sci-fi dream finally become a reality. Wow. Flying car of the future. Interesting. That's really interesting. Flying car of the future. So does anybody know how to do it? No, and I don't even do stupid stuff to, you know, piss off my neighbors, but that just pissed me off. It's like, fuck, I hear it once because it's quiet. Right. You know? Right, right, right. So uh, did you, when did you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to try and get on to the News Guy show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. See ya.